so I'm going to introduce to you my husband. You've probably seen him on many of my blogs, um, but we are going to start a little series of different cuisines and dishes that we've experienced throughout all our travels. So he is actually the chef of the house. I hate cooking and I'm thankful he grew up in the restaurant industry with his family. They own multiple restaurants. So um, he's picked up on those cooking skills. So it's true. She doesn't cook at all. <laughs> I know and I'm so mad. So he's He's, I'm thankful I, I have him to do the cooking of the, our house because he's really good at it. I try my best. Yeah, you do. So today we're going to do Hawaiian poke bowls. So this is one dish when we were on our trip to Kauai last, um, we heard of them but we never really had them and we finally did when we were in Kauai and we were addicted. They were so good and thankfully now when we are home here we were able to find the ingredients in order to be able to make them here at home. So this dish is pretty much a weekly staple for us now so we love it. It's quick and easy. Yeah it is quick and easy so that makes him happy for evenings. <laughs> So yeah, we'll get started here. Cheers. <laughs> The ingredients we're going to be using today are two pieces of sushi grade ahi tuna. We buy it at Aldi. We'll be using some jasmine rice, a fresh cucumber, and a fresh avocado. And we'll be topping it with some scallions or green onions, however you want to say it. For the spicy mayo, we're going to use sriracha sauce, some Hellman's real mayonnaise, um, some rice seasoning that we got at a local Asian market, and some soy sauce. So we're going to start by um, doing a half cup of rice and measure it out, throw it in the strainer. I always put it in a strainer and I rinse it just for a little bit with cold water to get the starch off of it so it's not super sticky. And for a half a cup of rice, I usually just do a little over a cup of water. on high. Throw your cover on and keep an eye on it and turn it down to simmer when it starts boiling. The rice takes about 20 minutes to cook so now we're going to start prepping our spicy mayo sauce and I just take a little bit of mayo just like a good spoonful and take some sriracha. If you like it really spicy put a lot in. If you don't like it that spicy don't put a lot in. We like it medium and a little bit of soy sauce, and then some of the rice seasoning. And I like to mix up the spicy mayo, just with the, simply with a chopstick. Now we're gonna prepare our vegetables. We have all our vegetables washed. First we're gonna cut up our scallions. Really for this dish, we're just going to use the green end, it's more for presentation. You have a lot of onion taste on the other end, so we'll save that for another dish. Cut up our cucumber. We'll be using half of this. I like to cut these into fourths for this dish. You one while I got it. Then we'll take our avocado, cut it in half this way, give it a twist, and like that. Turn. Done. And well, now we're gonna spoon out the avocado. I always like to take a large spoon. Like so. The other half, do the same thing. Now we're gonna cut up our sushi grade ahi tuna. I like to use a really sharp fillet knife for this. Take it and just start cutting it into small pieces, so I cut it this way. Try to go against the green if you can. The 
is sushi grade ahi tuna, so there's no need to cook it. You can eat it raw and it's safe. And I also like to season the tuna just with some soy sauce, simply, and some of the rice seasoning gives it a nice flavor. So just a generous shake of that. And you don't want too much soy sauce, so it's not overly salty. You can always put more soy sauce on. Shake it up, mix it up, and set it aside. And while we're waiting for the rice to cook, I just wanted to give you guys a reminder. If you haven't already, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are hoping to do more of these uh, cook with me videos with all the different dishes we've experienced around the world. So stay tuned. We're hoping to create some more dishes as long as you'll keep hanging out with me here on camera. <laughs> I'll try. Yeah. <laughs> and speaking of Hawaii, that is like one of our favorite places to go. We've been to all the islands except the big island. We still need to get there. But except we haven't been to Lanai. We've been to Oahu, Kauai, and Maui. So we're hoping to get to the big island here one of these days to experience that. Every time we go to Hawaii, we just want to like stay there. We don't ever want to leave. We just Never love it. Come home. Yeah. Ever. And ever. they have the best food and drinks, <laughs> atmosphere, hiking, nature. Oh. It's just so awesome. So we make these dishes in the hopes to, you know, put us back in the mindset of being in Hawaii even though we're far, far, far <laughs> away from there. Our rice is finished cooking, so we can take it off the burner and open it up and fluff it a little bit. I like to use a wooden spoon so it doesn't scratch the finish on the pot. And I don't like to serve it blazing hot so I let it just kind of sit for a few minutes and let that steam get out of there and let it cool down a little bit. When making this dish do not use instant rice. Make sure you get an actual jasmine rice or some kind of Asian rice that you actually have to cook. That's way better. Alright we're ready to start plating these so I always start by putting in the rice first. ready to lay the tuna over the rice. I like to give it another quick shake and then I just use my hands and I kind of just divide out equal pieces because they're all a little bit different in size. Oh and by the way, it just started snowing. Not cool. No. Not cool at all. See my green grass? Yeah, I don't want any snow. It's gonna be cold this weekend again. It was 65 yesterday. Just dreaming we're in Hawaii. <laughs> we're not in Hawaii. <laughs> we're on the cucumbers. <laughs> Throw in the avocado. Finish it off with some green onions for the topping. Now we're ready to drizzle them with the spicy mayo sauce we made earlier. Let's eat! Yeah! So he uses chopsticks, I have to use a fork. I can use chopsticks for sushi, but when it comes to this type of dish, I cannot use it. I need to use my fork, so. It's not that hard. I know, but. Just how it is. <laughs> mm. Yep. Another thing you can do is leave the cucumber out if it's too prominent in in the bowl. So it's totally a personal preference on how you want to make these bowls. Um, we've done it both with cucumber and without. It just kind of varies every time we make one. We're like, eh, let's get some cucumber this time. Hey, let's not. It doesn't matter. We like it both ways. So it's definitely a personal choice. I remember last time we were in Hawaii, we had this poke bowl. We had to go get the shaved ice. Have you guys ever had that? So good. That was you can get like different flavors because you always need dessert during you have a meal. So good. I don't know about you guys, but I always have to have something sweet after I've been eating a meal. Beer works for me. Yeah. He just takes a beer. I'm like craving the chocolate. <laughs> 
You guys, thank you so much for joining us. We're gonna keep on eating our meal here. Um, but comment below what other types of content you would like to see on my channel. Like I said, I'm gonna start this series with the cooking dishes, so he'll be featured in those. But if there's anything else, different topics or anything you'd be interested in, just let us know, or if there's a different type of food or something you want us to try, and um, we can definitely do that too. So the options are endless. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>